saw the way that I'm dressed and you brought me here. Like, at yes, this point, it's low-key disrespectful. And you got me these cheap grocery store flowers. Like, you're, you're at this point, you're disrespecting. Yes, you're disrespecting me. Like, my mind's telling me no. But they crack y'all. The crack team's telling me yes. Gotta go. So what happens when you take a girl who you've not really vetted properly out on a date? <laughs> this is normally when you see a girl online or you've approached a girl in the street just for a number. In these cases, many men just want to get to the juice as they have seen an attractive girl who they want to get to know and their minds are just clouded with lust. See, it wasn't that long ago when you could actually use this approach as me myself, I've dated girls that I didn't really vet properly. The video I'm about to show you today is a video of a guy who has clearly no vetting skills. A guy who ends up in drama after taking a very over entitled female out on a date. This female refuses to get out of the car. And before you say no, it's not the Cheesecake Factory video. <laughs> is that all it is? It's just that it's a chain restaurant? No, it's cheap. That's what I keep telling okay, you. Okay, well, I, I, have, I have a rule, right, where I'm not going to take anyone on the first I don't care about your rule. Any guy has never had a problem with taking me anywhere I want to go, so why do you have a problem? I have a problem because you found you sound very entitled, very stuck up. I'm not entitled. I just know my worth, and my worth is not Olive Garden. Like clearly, like uh, do I look me, like Olive Garden? That's let me, let me guess. You, you got standards. You got yeah, standards. like who? Everyone should have standards. Like, what is that about? What is Olive Garden Look, about? It's like, not standards. That's just being stuck up and like. But like, you see the way that I'm dressed. You see, you saw the way that I'm dressed and you brought me here. Like at yes, this point, it's low-key disrespectful. And you got these cheap grocery store flowers like you're you're it's at this point you're disrespecting yes you're disrespecting me like why would you bring me here like do i, I look like i eat all garden like me for real i have but i brought you here because it's a restaurant it's a chain i mean look here if you have a problem with all garden we could go to i have right over there i have yeah i have right over there like what it's a restaurant like it's, it's not it's, even breakfast time why would i want to eat it breakfast doesn't even right matter it, like, it's it's a chain restaurant it's yes a chain restaurant. Exactly. but it's a restaurant that's the key it's point like it's like fast a food it's, it's the, not fast, fast food. food yes it is look if i took you to a mcdonald's i'd understand you being pissed off but like this is not mcdonald's this might as well be this is like 30 dollars a plate this might as well be it's not 30 dollars a plate it might as well be okay like, i don't know what you order but when i order 30 dollars a plate you can get some nice food here Okay. I don't, I, I don't, I'm, I'm not eating here. That's all I'm saying. That's why I'm not eating. I'm not getting out the car and I'm not eating here. Like, okay. what don't you understand? Okay. Like, uh, if you heck? got a problem with it, uh, you can get out of my car. No, I'm not getting out. Take me home. You can get out. I'm not getting out. Just get in the car and take me I'm, home. I'm not going to take you anywhere. I don't even know where I am and you're just going to make me get out? Uh, you can call an Uber. Because if money's not an issue, I mean, yeah, you can get an Uber. I'm Are not, you I'm, serious right now? Yeah, I'm dead serious. I'm not going to drive you anywhere. Well, you can... Keep your cheap flowers. I don't want them. I'll figure it out. Okay. Yeah, I don't you need can, you. Yeah. Cause you brought me here. Like, what? What was the point of that? Yeah. No. Like, um. What's your problem? You have a great rest of your day. Like, you could just leave. I am leaving. Bye. Bye. That is bullshit. Basically, yeah. High level bullshit. Now, by the way, this girl's talking, me and her wouldn't have even got that far. Who knows, maybe she would have spoken to me a bit differently, but the point I'm getting at here is that her tone and her attitude is overly unattractive. And you can clearly hear that the guy is a simp. As he says, he has a rule, she says, I don't care about your rule. I have a rule, right, where I'm not going to take anyone on the first I don't care about your rule. Any guy has never had a problem with taking me anywhere I want to go. So the majority of dates that take place nowadays are actually by simps, believe it or not. Because when she really, really likes you, you already know that taking her to a nice fancy place isn't needed. She says that no other guy has a problem, you know, taking her to nice places. Any guy has never had a problem with taking me anywhere I want to go, so why do you have a problem? Question. Where are those nice guys now? Those guys paid, laid, and dipped. Or just paid and got finessed. Either way, they're not with her now, so to me, it's not a good investment. She says you see the way I'm dressed 
and you bring me here. See the way that I'm dressed. You see, you saw the way that I'm dressed and you brought me here. Like at yes, this point, it's low-key disrespectful. Listen, if this is a first date, the idea is just to get to know each other. Why people think it's anything else, I don't know. She thinks because what she's wearing, you have to spend accordingly. Entitled people act this way. Get to know this girl enough to know that your time isn't going to be wasted and that you're not going to be disrespected. It can be difficult, I know, when she looks so nice. But remember this, every day she looks the same. She's just another person. Respect has to be earned, regardless of what she looks like or what she wears. Until the next time. Girl, these men do not deserve your 100%. Like, just go out there, give your 50%. Just sit there, be uninterested. Do the bare minimum. Fuck off! <laughs> I saw potential in another brother's baby